All right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Friday, the 5th of August, and getting ready for a marathon week next week, folks. We've got four events back to back to back to back, starting Tuesday night with our Argentina tasting. We just added a few more wines onto this tasting. We've got over 20 wines for our Argentina tasting now at the Tower Club on Tuesday night. Wednesday night, we've got our Northeast Italian tasting at uh, Cafe Max. Thursday night, the lobster, lobster, lobster cooking class. We've got over 40 people for that already. And then Friday night, that's what I got to sell you today, our Priorat tasting a week from tonight here in the store. This has become an annual event. And, uh, you know, I find the wines of the Priorat are very forward and appealing and really easy to get uh, fans as, you know, for people trying these wines for the first time uh, that like California Cabernet, that like fruit forward wines, Australian Shiraz, they're a big hit because these wines, Carignan and Grenache based for the most part, have got a lot of forward fruit. And I actually like these wines better in their youth than as they get older. And when you talk about older, the Priorat is relatively new, even though, you know, this winery, they've been making wine there since the 12th century. You can see the old terraced hillsides that were banded, you know, some of them hundreds of years ago. And today, well, it's very difficult to farm here because of the steep terrain. I remember my trip there, and uh, it was really scary actually driving up into the vineyards. And when you're standing on the vineyard looking down, you just wonder, I mean, how many people do they lose every year harvesting in these vineyards that fall down the side of the mountain that slip on the rocks because, you know, it's a granite schist kind of soil called Licorill which uh, really imparts a distinct minerality to the wines. And then you have this lovely kind of garig quality, this wild herb and flower quality, uh, along with that slate that really define the aromatics in the nose. And once again, with that wonderful, jammy, ripe, forward fruit. And one of the things you get from this high elevation also is incredible concentration. You get very low yields. So the grapes that do uh, get ripe are very concentrated, very rich. And, uh, well, as I mentioned before, you know, I said I like the Priorat Young. Well, you know, the famous gang of five, the five original producers, uh, which Rene Barbier was the gentleman that got everything started. He convinced Alvaro Palacios, Gloria Defon, and uh, the other people to, you know, <clears throat> come with him to this area and start making wine. As a matter of fact, all five of these wineries, uh, wines were made at the same winery at one time. And uh, it wasn't until the late 80s uh, that this took place. Many of these wines, you know, their first vintage in the early 90s. And we have some older versions of the pre with this tasting going all the way back to 2002. We've got some current release wines. We have got three suppliers. We've got over a dozen wines on the table, folks. Check it out on this offer. Everything we'll be drinking at our pre rot tasting coming up a week from tonight. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember... Always drink the good stuff first.